We now return to the best of comic relief. We have someone else coming right now. And ask me if there's anyone I really want to have on the show. Someone particularly I'd like to see who'd never been on the show before. I can only think of one man. However, Geraldo was spending the weekend with Raymond Burr. <laughs> Boom! See, I gave you a, I gave you. a thing. And Saddam Hussein is, of course, exclusive to Fox. <laughs> so, instead, we got this guy. The last of the great beloved entertainers. A man whose name is synonymous with warmth, graciousness, and good feelings. Amen. Yes, girl. Mm-hmm. 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 Here how it flows off the forked tongue of Mr. Don Rickles. What was the other guy? God bless. There's a new thing called dress up. Thank you. I mean, we worry about the homeless, but you're a Jew derelict. <laughs> I've always liked you better than the other guy. Thank you. Uh, better not. Anyway, uh, uh, God bless you. Black or white, we're all working for the same cause. <laughs> to find you work. <laughs> anyway, you're doing so great with the God bless you. Just as a Jew on safari. Anyway, uh, I've never met an ape. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Hallelujah! Get the black chick to back it up. The second coming. God bless you. Good Wonderful you. kids. Do you do so, kids? You are kids compared to... I was so flattered when, 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 when Robin Williams' manager called me and said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Managers are spastic, spitting up all over the place. But it won't be God bless, as you told me tonight outside. Someday it's going to be your whole show. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to be the hostess, and you don't need the white Jew and the other pain in the ass on the air. Remember the Italian guys? You wanna play uh, wanna play soccer, Charlie? You're Italian the, you're... guys from the neighborhood. See, look at this, you're Italian. Uh, that's Goober, multimillionaire. No. But I want to tell you something. Before you go, I want to say something. I liked you the best. I swear to God. She did that. She's lonely. But take care of yourself. You too, take care, and I'm glad the hair thing did well. <laughs> hey, you wanna know something? What? I can't believe that you're Peter Pan. <laughs> Fun. I make fun of the blacks, I make fun of the Jews. Well, not really. I'll tell you this. I make fun of people. Paul Rodriguez, a great Mexican kid. I swear to God, my wife and I were in Mexico City for two weeks, never saw the city. She kept saying to me, I think it's a salad. I said, no, it's a damn tomatoes. It's a tomatoes. You know what it was? It was the waiter. You want a burrito? How about an enchilada? You want an enchilada? And then the guy tossed the salad, for crying out loud. Look at the black brother laughing, you son of a gun. The one with the blow gun. Anyway, uh, I make fun of the black people. Without you, we'd have no Olympics. That's right. They're great runners. You put a gun on their ass, they can beat a bullet. I'll tell you this, though. Laugh and enjoy people. That's the main thing, I swear to God. Is that your wife, sir? Jesus Christ. I'll tell you this. That's the... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. She's a pretty lady. Jesus. What was it, a train? I'll tell you this. It's fantastic. I laugh about people. Look at the people in the balcony sitting there, spitting down on the other people. But you're wonderful people. I laugh. How much you weigh, big fella? 200 on the left side of your ass, you weigh 200. This is the type of guy that goes to the toilet and the toilet goes, Get off me! Probably sitting there and play with the roller. <laughs> Chinese, Japanese, Filipino, my ass, you're a Jap. I'll tell you this. 
three years in the jungle looking for your uncle. I'll tell you this. Walking around going, oh, oh, oh. No, I kid you, we're all brothers. God bless you, my friend. What is your first name? Joe? Joe, my ass, Joe. During World War II, they were all Joe. You're a Jew, you gotta be. With that nose, if you're not, you're an eagle. I'll tell you this. Look at the nose on this. As you're breathing, my socks are coming up. I'll tell you this, though. Enjoy. Laugh at people. Why do I laugh at Whoopi and, 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 and Robin and, and, and Billy? Why? Because they get on my damn nerves. I swear to God, and Billy especially, you know, I, I don't know Robin that well. I know Billy. He keeps walking around saying, how do I look? Do I look good? They give him a cookie and he goes away. He's a real pain in the ass, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Boo this. No, I'll tell you this. It's great, though. Laugh about life. That's the whole damn thing. You know, we make fun. We've had terrible riots in this city. The homeless are struggling. But I must say from my heart, I love people. I think the greatest thing we can do is to try to laugh in our souls and say, hey, we give love and kindness. Let us help the homeless, the people that were destroyed during these terrible riots. I think we all need a healing process, and this city will come back. It must. Don Rickles, a lovable old softy. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of the Best of Comic Relief.